The Amazon is one of the Earth's vital organs. A vast ocean of green, breathing in the carbon dioxide that we pump into the air, helping to slow the pace of climate change. But the lungs of the planet are unwell. We are losing Amazon. This is going. For decades, scientists have talked of an Amazon tipping point. The point at which the forest loses its ability to renew itself and begins to emit more CO2 than it absorbs. That point was thought to be decades away. But the results of a new study shared with Newsnight suggests that in one part of the forest, we may already be there. We are seeing the precursors of the tipping point taking place in the Amazon. The Amazon's five and a half million square kilometers of dense, damp vegetation absorbs vast amounts of carbon. It is what's called a carbon sink. It used to be in the 1980s and 90s uh, a, a very strong carbon sink, perhaps extracting two billion tons of carbon dioxide a year from the atmosphere. Today, that strength is reduced perhaps to one, 1.2 billion. A billion tons of CO2 a year is still a considerable amount, almost three times the UK's official estimate of net emissions for 2018. But clearly, there is a downward trend and one of the principal causes is deforestation. Put simply, growing trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, dead trees release it again. After almost a decade in decline, deforestation in the Amazon has increased significantly in recent years. 2019 was a particularly bad year. The destruction was most visible in the fires that swept through the forest last summer. Unlike bushfires, the majority of fires in the rainforest are caused by human activity, cutting and clearing the forest for logging, agriculture or mining, much of it illegal. In our calculations, if we exceeded 20 to 25 percent of deforestation in the Amazon, today we are at about 17 percent, and global warming continues unabated, with high emission scenarios, then the tipping point would be reached. The fear is the rainforest gets trapped in a vicious cycle where more tree loss leads to less rainfall, leading to longer dry seasons, resulting in more fires, which in turn cause more tree loss and so on. Professor Nobre's calculations are based on climate models which have a significant degree of uncertainty. But this new study is based on real-life observations. And the results, which haven't yet been published but which have been shared with Newsnight, suggest that in a significant portion of the Amazon rainforest, the tipping point has already been crossed. Every two weeks for the past 10 years, Professor Luciana Gatti and her team have been measuring greenhouse gases by flying aircraft fitted with sensors over different parts of the Amazon basin. What they found was startling. While most of the rainforest still retains its ability to absorb large quantities of CO2, especially in wetter years, one portion of the forest, which is especially heavily deforested, appears to have lost that capacity. Her research suggests this southeastern part of the forest about 20% of the total area now emits more carbon than it absorbs. We observe differences between the areas. In this area especially, in the southeast, this area is an important source of carbon. It doesn't matter if the year is wet year or dry year, we observe it all years like a source. Each year is worse. 2017 and 18 was wet year but it didn't make any difference. This is a very, very worrying uh, observation because it could be showing the beginnings of a major tipping point. The question is, could much of the rest of the Amazon go the way of this drier, more deforested southeastern region? 
and how long might that take? Most scientists in the field agree, if things continue this way, it will happen. What they disagree about is when. Some people think that it won't be until three degrees warming, so towards the end of the century, whereas other people think that we could get deforestation up above 20% or so, and it's already at 17%, and that might happen in the next decade or two. So it's really, really uncertain, but if, as they're saying, from really high quality aircraft measurements, that every single year of the last decade was a source of carbon for the southeast of, of the Amazon basin, then that's quite a shocking result to me. And it, it says to me that this is more near term than perhaps I was initially thinking. The next question is, can anything be done to prevent a wider Amazon tipping point? The answer is probably, or at least the process could be delayed. What I could suggest is a moratorium, like uh, five years with no deforestation, no fire, and the go study observe if we can reverse this process. Because we need to try something for don't lose the Amazon. But a moratorium on all deforestation looks unlikely for now. Brazil's president has made his priority for the rainforest very clear, development over conservation. Saving the Amazon is, for now, a question of political choice. But the science suggests that choice may not be on offer for very much longer.